We're here at Alastair Park in Derby, thinking about our urban rewilding strategy for Derby City. And we're looking at Natural England's green infrastructure framework. Alastair Park is a publicly owned Derby City Council green space. And up until 2020, this park used to be a golf course. It's used every single day by community groups. And we've got people that walk dogs, that, that exercise. We had the opportunity to create the UK's largest urban rewilding project and that sounded incredibly exciting. Our vision for Alastair Park is to create a nature-rich green space where people and wildlife thrive together. To make it wilder, provide space for nature to recover, for biodiversity, to reintroduce species that should be there in the park now but aren't. Wet landscapes, grassland, trees and other natural habitats. And the other thing I think that we would really like to be able to do is, is to achieve the accessible green standards. And of course, the opportunity to generate jobs in the green economy. Green infrastructure standards highlights the vital connectiveness between people and nature, making it very relevant to all sections of society. We're particularly focusing on urban nature recovery and accessible green spaces. Derby is the third most densely populated city in the East Midlands and we saw in the pandemic the importance of green space to local people. But we also want safe spaces. We want people to actually come to Alistair and feel welcomed and feel like they're represented within the park. We want our volunteering opportunities to be as broad as possible and to make sure that we're encouraging as many people as possible to take part in what is a really exciting project. We want one in four people to be mobilised to take action for wildlife, like species reintroduction, citizen science and monitoring. The climate crisis is with us right here, right now, and Alastair Park provides us the opportunity to respond to that climate crisis in a really, really sustainable, manageable way that will benefit local people. We're not the experts on everything. I think the key thing has been by working in partnership with the likes of Derbyshire Wildlife Trust, with the University of Derby, with Rewild in Britain. They've got some fantastic expertise, capacity, resources. We've already delivered public consultation through walks, talks and events. And now we're working with individuals and organisations to find out more about how they would use Alistair Park so that we can make a really co-produced programme. We're igniting a passion for this project. We're finding more and more people are engaging with everything to do with wildlife and we want local people and local communities to be involved in engagement projects and wellbeing programmes. However, we're very aware of the voices that are missing within this project and we're really doing a lot of work to ensure that our underserved communities are involved in the work that goes into rewilding Alistair Park. We don't have all the answers, but we're reflecting, we're learning and we're starting the work to enable access for all. I'm really excited about the opportunities that lie ahead and, and working with our partners to bring the vision of a rewilded Alistair Park to life. We're so excited to see what we can do here at Alistair Park and the impact we know it will have for the community.